What's good? What's good? What's good? Am I live? I think I am. Yo, if you're seeing this, I hope you're hitting the notification bell because not only will I come personally to your doorstep and give you a present, but you know when these lives are coming. That's the real thing, is that you know when these lives are coming because I don't know how this works, but I want to do this more often. What's up, Nathan? What's up, Petty? Ask your dunk questions. Let's go, baby. Why is my stream health not great? Give me more stream health. More stream health. Going to the gym today. Hopefully, I might jump a little bit, but probably not because I'm going to New York next weekend. So I'm going to take it easy today. Please let me know how the stream is doing. I don't think it's doing well. We're live, baby. I'm trying to take some questions. Oh, look, my notification came up too. We're live. We're live. What's the best way for me to do this? Is there any wonder? What's up, Will Miller? Chopping, huh? Damn. Egert. Thanks, bro. Um. What's up, Lamenda Jones? How much I squat? Right now I don't really squat, but the last time I squatted, I box squatted close to 400. I probably could squat, full depth squat around 300 safely. Uh, clutch the Gamer. Just got rim for the first time yesterday. 5, 6, 13. That's dope, dude. That's like five years before I even did it and shorter. So that's great. What's up, Repook? I'm sitting on the floor right now because I want to like stretch a little bit. Yo, what's good? Alexander. Look who it is, baby. Nathan G. How do you stop left shin pain when jumping one foot off my left? Left shin pain off my left. Um, shin pain a lot of times is shin splints probably. And a lot of times I think that comes from weak muscles, whether it's uh, your quads or your calves because it's like the front of your leg. Um, but just get stronger in all your muscles in your legs, but also the tibialis in the front of your shin. If you, li if you sit stand against the wall and lift up your foot you'll f and like hold it there, You'll feel like the front of your leg burning. That's your tibialis muscle. Work that well as well. Favorite jumping workout? It depends what phase I'm in. I really love the elastic phase, the speed phase, because it's more fun, like plyometrics. It makes me feel agile and stuff like that. But I like them all because they all long-term build up to jumping higher. So I like strength. I like, But I just like feeling agile because that's my favorite thing to do is jump higher. Foam rolling is good too. Favorite weight exercise? I like I like box squats a lot, and I want to get good at deadlifts. I just have no bad form, but as I work through this hamstring rehab, I think it'll uh, I think it'll get better. Better. By the way, I'm probably gonna stay live for at most twenty minutes, twenty to thirty minutes maybe, because this is a lot, and it's tough to go rapid fire questions. Um, and I will be posting all the questions on my podcast and my YouTube so you can see this if you're not live right now. But I do like interacting with you guys and getting your questions. So if you want your questions answered, I'm going to do this more often. And uh, I would love to know if you enjoy. Um, why do I get higher off a of one step than a full run up? You're probably losing some force somewhere. So if you think of it as like in terms of like uh, how much force you're producing – you're probably using all of it off that one step as you're running. Maybe you're losing some speed or you're losing some of that force as you transfer, try to do your penultimate. I don't know. I'd have to look at it, which I do as a service. I'm going to be coming up with memberships too. Um, I get a lot of questions to, for, to critique your technique. So I want to make that affordable and a way that I can really help you because I know that's really helpful for me to help watch your form. But I do have tutorials on jumping. So if you can watch those, try to see what you're doing wrong. I can grab rim at the moment. Would you? Okay. <laughs> no, you didn't answer, finish the question. When are you going to start posterizing? Yo, as soon as I'm healthy, bro. As soon as I'm healthy, that's the plan. Are my hands short? I'm 5'11", standing reach 7'3". No, um, maybe, but it doesn't really matter. 
just jump. Um, you might grow. It doesn't really matter. It's only a few inches, if anything, which is a lot. But at the same time, you just have to jump higher, and it'd be every every obstacle makes you better. So if if you had no obstacles, you'd have no resilience. Retweet that. No obstacles equals no resilience. You want to be strong and powerful and un, undeniable. The word of the day is undeniable. Alexander Brody, recovering from my ACL injury, but I feel the bounce starting to come back, baby. That's awesome. Be patient with it. Don't push it too hard, but listen to your body. If I can grab rim at the moment, should I do plyometrics or weights? I always say start with the jumping and the plyometrics just to see what you can max out. And it's also fun. It gets you in a consistent routine. And then start getting stronger. But you have to diagnose yourself. Are you fast and weak or are you strong and slow? So if you can grab rim, do you feel like you're still super athletic and you're jumping your highest or you feel like there's still more in the tank? Um, it's tough. But that's exactly what I want to do with my, my, um, my Dunk Life memberships is help you understand where you're at, how to diagnose yourself. Uh, should I jump a lot after leg day? No, you should probably just stretch and have like active recovery. You can do a little bit of jumping. You can build up to that. But I would say the day after jumping, just try to recover those legs, get some good range of motion and good blood flow. Um, uh, what's your standing vertical? Mine right now, right now I'm like injured. But like when I was healthy, I was like almost – Two hand touching rim is only like 34, 35, nothing good. Maybe 36, nothing great. But I want to work on that. Hey, what's up, Bar Toes? Sweat says sweat. It's hard to say. Hey, yo, AE says yo. Luke O'Neill, best reverse progression? Reverse dunk progression? Or what do you mean? I would say for doing a reverse dunk, just try to dunk with two hands and then try to dunk from two hands from different angles. And then just got to go for it and see – and then just go with the rim without the ball. Just run and try to hang with two hands without the ball. Why can I jump higher off one than two? It's got to be technique um, or you're just not as strong in your other leg and you're just really you're really strong off that one leg. Um, I, try it. Like I said, try, try my tutorial. See how your two-foot technique is. Um, a lot of times for me even, one-foot technique is a little easier because you play hoop. You play hoop. You play basketball. You hoop a lot. And uh, – as you do that, a lot of you're you're running a lot, so naturally go off one leg for layups. You get really good at that. Um, and a two foot technique is a lot more technique. Is this stream going okay, by the way? Like, is the health okay, or is it really shitty? Clutch the gamer. What workouts should I be doing right now? Did you ask another question before that? You just got rim for the first time. I say keep jumping. You're only thirteen. But like when you ask a question like that, you gotta you gotta. There's so many factors. I have no clue what age you are. I had to look. I looked up and saw how old you were and things like that. But you got to look at your age. You got to look at um, your season. Are you about to play basketball? You don't want to be strength training during season. Um, there's things you can do during season too. There's some strength type of work you can do. But there's just too many factors. Like, are, do you have any ailments? Do you have any knee injuries? Do you have any leg injuries? Things like that. There's a lot of factors that go into what you should be doing. But that's what I want to help with. That's what all my content is going to be. I'm going to come up with a way to help you guys, whether it's just consulting with me, what you think. I'm going to I'm give me my advice. This is kind of exactly why I'm doing this live stream. So you can ask me your specific questions and I can help you. Olympic lifts, I don't, but I think I will in the future once I'm in my strength phase um, and like more power phase. Standing reach is 91 inches. Uh, what's up, Mateo? Would you recommend any one-foot dunkers that I can study and learn from? Adam lincoln Uh I think if you go to my dunk tips and tutorials, I might have added him to my playlist. If not, just type in Adam L-I-N-K-E-N-A-U-G-E-R. I think he's got a great one-foot tutorial. Um, but yeah, like Jordan Sutherland has a great technique. Um, John Evans has great one-foot tips on his on his Instagram, I believe. Who else? One foot. Chase Kilgannon has incredible technique. He jumps really high. My best squat is 300 and I can get four inches above the rim. Any tips to increase? Well, is that heavy for you? I don't know. That could be light for you. If it's heavy for you and that's really strong, start that speed phase. I have a speed phase now on my, on my channel, on my website that's perfect for that. That's exactly what I would do, a strength phase and a speed phase. 
There is a power phase in the middle that I'm working on as well. Um, it's kind of like a, a kind of a little bit of both, but I would say taper off the squats, start lowering down. Yeah. Um, focusing on squat and deadlift bench press, would it help my vertical? Yeah, so squat and deadlift, yes. Bench press, maybe just keep your body a little strong, but you don't really need bench press at all. Um, but yeah, get 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 strong in, in your legs with the squat and deadlift. Those are great. And then, uh, let, just like I said, taper off and go hard. Start jumping a lot. Alan Bosky, it's okay. Steven Selly versus Jordan Kilgannon. I could. I don't know if I'll ever be able to compete with that man. He's got too many friggin' dunks. I don't think I can ever. Maybe he's, maybe height wise, jumping and dunking is hard. But um, I can touch the rim from a standing jump. Should I be able to dunk? I think I have good technique off too. Yeah, I think with a lob you should definitely be able to dunk with a lob because if you can touch the rim, you could probably at least get three to four inches higher than that with a run. So you should be really close to a lob. I'd say so. Is there any I found a really good song this morning. I don't know where. I don't even know how I found it. Oh, I was searched like Beautiful Morning and I found a different song. Man, it's so good. I have zero calves with strong quads and hamstrings. You think it's holding my vert back a lot? It could be. Um, your calves are probably okay if you hoop a lot. Just get them strong, but get all of it strong. You just don't want a good, bad imbalance because then it's gonna, you're going to be like me, inflexible and injury prone. So just get a good balance, strengthen every part of your legs, and yeah. What's your thought on Vert Shock? Vert Shock is 100% garbage because they stole my videos without asking and now they're asking for it again. I, I don't like them. I would never do any business with them and I would never say anything good about them. <laughs> Fuck them. Sorry. Um, how old are you when you got your first dunk at all? Like one hand, one foot. 19, baby. It's on my channel. Type in first dunk and then that like... I thought the rim was high at the time, so that's still my first dunk technically, but I also have my first official 10-foot dunk off a of lob, which I have both on my channel. My running vert is a foot higher than my standing. That's probably like me. It's pretty high. Try to get your standing a little higher. Probably need a little more strength. Probably using a lot of speed. My coach wants me to be a shooter, but I want to be a dunker. Just get so good at dunking that you're undeniable. Word of the day, undeniable. Any advice for... Appointment, should I stop working on until I fix it? What's APT? Any advice for APT? I don't know what APT is. It's easier for me to dunk off one foot, but I jump off two foot better. Is that a problem of technique? Um, if you jump off two foot better, you're probably just not timing it right or something. I, I don't know. But if you're jumping off two foot better, but it's easier for you to dunk off one foot, then you're, you're probably just not jumping near the rim. Check out my lob tutorial. Oh, anterior pelvic tilt. Um, you could you can continue working out. I'd say, yeah, make it a priority to fix it, especially if you have access to like a therapy or something like that. Fix that so you can lift properly. But you can probably jump and do things and plyometrics and stuff like that while trying to fix it. Yeah, Fortnite with the boys were fun. Is it true that as you improve and get higher off two feet, your one foot will follow? Well... Maybe not as much. Like it depends on the person. Like for me, my one foot needs like specific practice, but it definitely gets stronger. So if you're jumping off, like if I were to do a lot of left right jumping, that's good for my left leg to get stronger. I'm pretty sure my, my left leg will still, my one foot jumping will increase, but it might not increase as much if I solely focused on one foot. Is it any longer? All right, boys, like five more minutes, I'm going to. Couple, actually, I'll, I'll probably end this in like one minute. So ask your last couple questions. I'll ask like five more questions and I'll cut it. This has been fun though. I want to do this more often. Um, and if you're listening right now on the podcast, I did this live on YouTube. I know I, I don't really know how much it notifies you on uh, how when I'm going live, but I'll try to make it more known and I'll try to set like a set day. Making that big transition in my life soon though. So I should be able to have more free time and have a set day where I could do live streams. And it should be fun. Who's the best dunker in the NBA? I had a dream about Aaron Gordon last night, so I'm going to say him just because he's fun. But I love Dennis Smith Jr. too. Zion's going to be nuts. I had a dream that Aaron Gordon was under a low rim, and I was about to dunk on him, and he turned around, and he saw me, and he like knew. He's like, oh, God, I almost ended my life. Like He knew I dunked hard. I don't know. We were like friends in my dream. <laughs> Is it true that as you improve? Okay, you said that already. Um, why do black people jump higher? What's the difference compared to whites? I don't know. That's That's just... Maybe they just have better athleticism. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's a terrible question. Who's the best dunker in NBA? 
answer to that. Best technique tip. Uh, my tutorial, my two foot jumping tip t tutorial, how to dunk off two feet. Um, it's actually in my Dunk Life Laws. If you want to download that for free on my website, if you download that, I talk about jump technique, how you want to have a big penultimate, you want to accelerate, things like that. So Dunk Life Laws for has the best technique. Scoliosis and jumping, I think you should probably get your scoliosis taken care of for sure. Is it possible to make a windmill if you are touching the rim with a full palm? I think you need a little bit more than that, at least wrist level, I'd say, to get a lot of, and with a lot of hand speed. Broad jump, I don't know. I forget if I did that dunk camp or not, but I'm, I can't even do it right now because of my hamstring. 9.5 easy with hands. You mean 9.5 or 9.5 feet? Because that's an inch difference. Um, you might be able that's 6 inches at least. I don't know. Pro, no, if you can, no, you should be able to grab 10 feet with two hands easy. Did I raid Area 51 yesterday? Uh, no, I should have. How do you grow taller? Stretch. You can grow taller. 15, what should my vertical be? Too many factors, bro. Could be genetics. Could be, did you play basketball your whole life or are you just starting to jump now? That's a huge difference, you know? It, 15, you're young. You can do so much. Just start jumping now and you can do a ton. I have programs for beginners on my on my website too. It's the two-week program. It's for beginners to start jumping. It's a great way to get introduced to jumping. Zach De Levine is the best. He is amazing. He's a great one-foot technique to watch, by the way. Yams is the secret or yams? Yams might be the secret. All right, boys, that's it. Thank you so much. If you're listening to the podcast, thanks for listening. More Dunk Life daily and more content. I'm coming out with my part two 40 to 42.5-inch video soon. And my vlogs are coming soon. I'm going to the gym today. Might make more videos about that. Let's go. Thank you for everything. Follow me on my Instagram to stay up to date with me. And let's go. How is in-game te technique different than normal? Uh, you just probably have a different angle and less steps. So you just have to like come off a crossover. You have to like cut through a lane, come from off different angles. You don't have your like dribble timing, all that type of stuff. So you got to just practice in-game by, pra by being in-game or having somebody guard you. Barack, I'll end it on this. Here we go. Steven, you inspired me a lot like eight years ago. Saw your videos on YouTube. You were doing jump manuals, doing air alerts. I decided to create a channel called Barack Dunks, I, but I give up too early. Never give up. If you want it, keep working. You can do it. You just got to stick to it. Look at me. I'm injured for 17 years, and I keep going because I know like last year I was injured for so long, but I increased by an inch. It took me a whole like year and a half, two years to increase one inch, but it's worth it. Let's go. Have a good day. I love you all. Thank you for joining.